What's up you guys, it's Lily, and today I'm going to be reviewing $100 worth of famous and underrated slime shops and slimes. So first up, we have Peachy Babies, and I reviewed her slimes earlier on my channel, so if you want to go check that out, I will link it down in the description below. Um, but from her, I got some Borax, and I got Red Velvet Cake Batter as well as Snow Bunny. So when I received Red Velvet Cake Batter, it had some really cute red sprinkles on top. Um, I did play with it because it was just a tad bit sticky, so I needed to activate it activated it wow i can speak today so i needed to activate it um but i did activate it and it was super super soft it was so sizzly it's like one of those slimes that you can't get enough of like you feel like you want to like do everything with it at once but you can't and then you're just like sitting there and you're all sad but this slime was so cool it had a really nice effect um, I would say like it kind of had that cloud slime look because it, it is it is a very thick cloud cream um, And I really really like this and I think this also has Daiso in it I believe that's what she said in her video um, But I'm actually really in love with this slime. I just had to like put it aside and play with it um, It had a kind of odd scent. I she said it smelled like red velvet cake batter But I think it kind of smelled more like a cupcake it, it, it's it's really different <laughs> it's it's hard to explain um but it is so stretchy and it's so nice it's kind of hard to like poke but um i don't really mind that and i'm literally in love with this So next, I ordered an 8 ounce of her snow bunny, and yes, the Lego is a little dirty. I just, I had it for I think a week, so I've been playing with it non-stop. Um, but this is one of the first cloud slimes I've ever bought. If you guys remember when I bought dope slimes as cloud slime, um, please let me know because I'm so happy that you guys have been with me for that long. Um, but I absolutely loved this slime. I loved the container it came in because it was very thick and protected, and nothing cracked or leaked, which was so nice. Um, the only thing I'll say about this slime is that it was really difficult to get out of the container. It was hard to get all of your product. Um, but I will say it was really easy when you had like a melon baller. And I love that slime when you can like scoop it out. And I love that aesthetic. It's so pretty. And then you have the scent, which she says is a white chocolate and a gingerbread. I wasn't really getting any of those kinds of scents. More like a sweet kind of candy-like scent, but I did really enjoy it. The next seller I bought from was Parakeet Slimes. Now, I've been trying to buy from her for multiple months, but I can never catch her because she sells out so quickly. So the first thing I got from her was a little sheet or card with her Instagram and all of her stuff on it. So go follow her. And I got a little care sheet also on the back. And then I received a little bag of borax as well as some borax instructions, which were really nice because it kind of really went into depth about what slimes need what amount of borax. So from her, I ordered her birthday cake ice cream. And if you see that little container on the side, um, it was so self-inflatable that I had to grab another two ounce container so that when it overfilled, I would have to put it in another container. But this slime is so creamy. It is so fluffy. It's so hard to describe. It's clicky. It's fluffy. It's literally amazing. Thank you. 
the scent is also a very sweet and kind of vanilla cake scent i'm really really liking it but it's so hard because this slime is like a very fluffy texture but it doesn't really deflate it just stays fluffy So next up we have table slimes and from her I ordered her bubbly margarita I think it was um, and it came in the Uline containers because most sellers do that and her logo is so cute that I'm literally dying it's like killing me I, it, oh my god so from her I got a little bag of borax as well as a care sheet I believe I got some candy with it but I ended up eating that because I was hungry and it had the slime care which I thought was really nice that she included that as well as her little logo on the front and then obviously she included a little baggie of borax so on to the slime um, this slime did not have a lot in the container um, I was kind of disappointed in that and I actually had played with this before to see if it would inflate but it didn't inflate pretty much at all so I was a little upset about that um, but the slime itself is so nice it is such a thick clear slime um, the only thing I'll say about it is it got a little bit hard to activate like I would activate it but it would still stay sticky um, I'm not really sure if that's something that she used like an ingredient um, but you just kind of have to add a lot of activator before it kind of really stops sticking to your hands It wasn't a completely clear slime because she had a lot of scent in it, which I was totally fine with because I thought it kind of gave a little bit more of a realistic look. Um, but I loved the scent. It was like a very sweet margarita. Like it, it tasted like the mix rather than the alcohol, if that makes any sense. The last seller I bought from was Slime Meowie, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right because I don't know how to say it. Um, but from her, I bought Rudolph Hot Cocoa. So, what I received in my package was a little bag, and it had multiple little goodies in it. Um, it had a little borax or slime care sheet, which I thought was really nice, so that it kind of gave you multiple things of what would happen to your slime and how to fix it. Then she gave you some of these candies, and some of these were from out of the US. So I'm thinking that it didn't ship in the US. I'm thinking she might have shipped from China or somewhere over there, because shipping did take about three weeks. Um, and then I received this little Sai Miaoi card. And last, a little baggie of Borax. And I actually used the same exact bags, so I'm proud of myself. So here's the slime um, when all the beads have risen. Um, my camera's about to go out of focus, but you can kind of see how the beads kind of start to bleed into the slime. Um, I did have a slight issue with that because it was kind of really difficult to gauge if it, the beads were bleeding or if it was just the slime's color. Um, but it was a little bit frustrating. I did think it added a little bit of depth into the slime, so I did really like that. But um, I just had an issue with the beads, and I think that's about it. But this slime was so thick. It was one of the thickest slimes I've ever felt, and it was so amazing. 
and I literally love this slime and it also has the jumbo packing peanut beads in it which I really like those are kind of fun because you can crush them up and put them in the slime another thing with the slime was that she described it as having a hot cocoa scent but it actually had a really strong glue scent to it I didn't love that but I mean it was okay I guess I didn't really mind it that's just kind of something I didn't really love And for reaching 5,000 subscribers, I'm having a giveaway. So here are the rules to that. You need to be subscribed to this channel. The third thing is you need to have notifications on for this channel and comment down below. Hashtag notification fam. The fourth thing is you need to subscribe to Lyrum on YouTube because she's an amazing friend of mine and I really would like to help build her channel and yes, I will be checking if you guys are subscribed to her. And the last thing is you need to comment what you would like to see as a prize in this giveaway. So a best selling slime, a slime kit, something from another seller. And you guys need to comment down below your Instagram or your email so I can message the winner. Anyways, I really hope that you guys like this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to see more cool testing videos, restocking videos, challenges, whatever else you want to see from me, and have your notifications on, because I love to post new videos, and I really want you guys to be notified when I post new videos. Another thing I want to mention is my Instagram. I post tons of things there, such as sales, restocking dates and times. If my restock changes, you have to be following that if you need to know. Um, or if there's any difficulties with my editing, whatever. And definitely, the last thing I want to mention is stay tuned because this giveaway is amazing. And I really want you guys to be so in tune with my channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week.